Hi friends, today I wanted to talk about baptism. Uh, both, these are both heavy in our second reading and our gospel reading this week. In the gospel reading, uh, John baptizes Jesus in the Jordan, and then in our second reading, Paul asks some disciples what they've been baptized into. And I wanted to just speak a little bit about what baptism is for us. Uh, so that you have a better idea of what you have been baptized into. But we have to start this conversation by asking, why was it that Jesus needed to be baptized? Um, because the baptism that John was offering, the baptism that Jesus received, was a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sin. Now, we all sin. So we would all need that baptism. We would all need to repent to receive that forgiveness. And repent means that you turn away from the behavior that you were doing and feeling sorry for it, right? But Jesus never sinned. He was the only perfect person that ever lived on the earth. And so why would he need that? And John even asked him that when Jesus came to him and says, I need to be baptized by you. What? And you come to me? That's what John says. But Jesus says, let it be so, um, because it's necessary in order to fulfill righteousness, in order to, for it to be right with God, this needs to happen. And we hear in our gospel reading today that when Jesus was baptized, the heavens tore apart and the Holy Spirit descended upon Jesus. And he heard that voice uh, from his father this is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Jesus took this baptism of repentance and forgiveness of sin, which, is, which wasn't an uncommon thing uh, in the Jewish life. And he took that, and like he did with so many other things, he, he changed it a little bit. He, he flipped it on its head just a little bit. It's still for repentance and the forgiveness of sin, but... When the heavens tore apart within this sacrament and the Holy Spirit descended, it was fundamentally changed. And so it's now it's no longer for us who have been baptized into Christ. It's no longer just for forgiveness of sin. The, the baptism connects us. Our baptism connects us to the work that Jesus did in this world. Uh, through the Holy Spirit, we are connected to the events of the cross and the resurrection. And so baptism is not only for our forgiveness, but it's also for our salvation. And I want you guys to really, really understand that, that your baptism is necessary for salvation. And uh, when you talk about it with other people and they ask you, hey, what is your baptism all about? Uh, you can say that I've been baptized into Christ and because of him, I am saved. Okay. So that is the, the big thing about baptism this week, and I, it's the thing that I want you to take with you uh, as we depart our video time together. I did want to also remind you that today at 1045, we'll be having a Zoom uh, fellowship Sunday school, and uh, there is a link in the description of this video, but there's also been other links uh, floating around in your parents' email and the church's Facebook page. But we'll uh, hope to see you there. And you guys take care. And oh, one other thing. Um, your parents also should have received a invitation to take a survey to tell us what they would like to do with Sunday school this semester, whether uh, we're going to continue online or whether we're going to uh, come in person. So, you know, parents, if as you're listening to this, please make sure you fill that out. And I'll put a link to that in the description of this video as well. All right, everyone, thank you for your time today, and God bless you. Uh, why don't we pray ourselves out? Good and gracious God, we thank you for our baptism. We thank you for the opportunity to be made new, and we thank you for the salvation that comes through this gift of grace. God, for all that you have done for us, for all that you do for us now, and for all that you will do for us in the future, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everyone, we will see you further down the trail. Take care and God's peace.